The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While the crowd was pressing in on Jesus and listening to the word of God, he was standing by the lake of Genezareth. He saw two boats there alongside the lake. The fishermen had disembarked and were washing their nets. Getting into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, he asked him to put out a short distance from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. After he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out the deep water and lower your nets for a catch. Simon said in reply, Master, we have worked hard all night and we have caught nothing. But at your command, but at your command, I will lower the nets. When they had done this, they caught a great number of fish, and their nets were tearing. They signaled to their partners in the other boat to, become, to come to help them. They came and filled the boat so that the boats were in danger of sinking. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at the knees of Jesus and said, Depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For astonishment at the catch of fish they had made seize him, and all those with him, and all those with him, and likewise James and John, the son of Zebedee, who were partners of Simon. Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on, you will be catching men. When they brought their boats to the shore, they left everything and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. There is this um, beautiful saying of Albert Camus. Albert Camus once said to a friend, I may not allow you to go ahead of me. Perhaps I cannot follow you. And I cannot be ahead of you. Perhaps I cannot be a good model. What I desire is be with me and be my friend. What I desire most is be with me and be my friend. Not ahead of me, not ahead of you. All I want is be with me as my friend. One of the definitions of the principle of law of connection is this. Since the statement of Albert Camus appeals to heart-to-heart -to -heart conversation, um, in the law of connection, regardless of things or persons, especially persons, a person, a lover, appeals to the heart before the hands. A lover appeals to the heart before the hand in the principle of connection. Before we move our hand, we start it from the heart. Now, my dear friends, we are reminded for today's, this afternoon's reading, to be friend of Jesus, side by side with connection with him in terms of heart-to-heart -heart friendship. And a heart-to-heart -heart friendship is go goes like this. A heart-to-heart -heart friendship means hold on in order for us to stand. Our lover Jesus Christ, malapit na yung Valentine's Day, is not just a corporate definition of love, but a spiritual definition of love is this, a heart-to-heart -heart friendship which means connection with Christ connection with Christ means hold on for us to stand can you imagine my dear friends this uh, face mask would not stand if we never allow Jesus to hold on us so really for us to to stand in our life with meaning with meaning and purpose we need to allow Jesus to hold to hold on us. Oftentimes, we never allow God be God. What happens to us? We think we can stand. In fact, we cannot stand. So here now, my dear friends, a true heart-to-heart -heart friendship or a heartfelt connection from one another, walang iwanan. We let others to hold on us, especially our dear God, our Lord Jesus Christ. Allow Jesus to hold on us or else we cannot or else 
we falter, we cannot stand. Second point, my dear friends, all our readings today, especially the first reading and the gospel, there's what we call parallelism, the statement of Prophet Isaiah. Prophet Isaiah um, said to God, Stay away from me, God, for I have impure heart, impure lips. In same manner, Saint Matthew, uh, no, sorry, Saint Peter told Jesus, Stay away from me, Lord, I'm a sinner. In same manner, before we receive the Lord Jesus Christ at the communion, you know, dili ako ang ay mga lawat kanimo, apan ipamulong mula mag ugmamaayo ako. So, I hope you, you bracket that statement. I'm impure, I'm a sinner. I'm not worthy. Uh, it's good really to, to hear when we have intelligence, wisdom, or human control. When we know everything. However, comma, my dear friends, it doesn't mean that we have intelligence, we are smart, that it gives us the license to decipher and fathom everything. Even though we have degrees, masters, and doctorate, there are things or realities in life that we cannot answer that only Jesus can answer us, provided that we allow Jesus to hold on us. Oftentimes, if we hear people who claim to be intelligent, who claim to be hegemonic or all-knowing, uh, there's a tendency to be proud. When a person is proud, the person is one-sided, narrow-minded. In fact, restrict restrict the re intervention or the penetration of God to one's life. Oftentimes, we hear people, Father, digi ko ganahan niya. Kaya burag siya, burag nakahibalo na siya tanan. Wa siya kahibalo sa kong kaagi, sa kong paningkamot. I don't like him. He knows everything. He never allows me to speak. Oftentimes, we experience that one. In the first reading, for example, Prophet Isaiah, first, the old Isaiah, he claimed to be all-knowing, intelligent, clever, smart, eventually he realized he was not. In the same manner, St. Peter, when Jesus invited him to move a little bit the boat for Jesus really to objectify the teaching and preaching, and when the second step, Jesus told Peter to go a little bit, duck in altum, go into the deep, or else you cannot catch fish. You cannot catch fish, right? But here, my dear friends, we know that Peter, there's a silent protest, there's an underpinning protest saying, in the terrain, in the platform of the sea, I'm the king, I'm the fisherman. Preacher ka lang. According to some commentaries. But here now, my dear friends, it is, it is as if Peter saying, I'm intelligent, I'm wise, I have the experience, I have the reflection as a fisherman. And Jesus exhorted him, to go a little bit, go into the deep, dok in altom. A part of Peter would say, who are you to tell me? I'm intelligent, I'm wise, I'm clever. I'm a fisherman for how many years? You preacher, you priest, insist or exhort me to do like that. But here now, my dear friends, here now, my dear friends, later on, Peter said, my Lord, my God, stay away from me, I'm a sinner. Because I claim to be intelligent, I claim to be wise, I claim to be clever, when in fact I'm not. So Prophet Isaiah, St. Peter, even St. Paul, during our, first, our second reading this afternoon, uh, claimed to be that when we have faith, must, faith must be in a deeper way. Our faith must have depth. We can only have that faith with deepness when we allow Jesus to hold in our lives. So in other words, my dear friends, when we claim to be intelligent, clever, and wise, there's no wrong with that as long as we never forget the source of everything, the Lord Jesus Christ, who is holding our lives, who will direct us, who will call us. Now, to end this one, my dear friends, I would like to highlight the, the gospel part. We know that St. Peter is expert or Peretos expert when it comes to fishing. But during that day, perhaps, the ginagulat ng mga tao, Jesus, uh, in this context, muad to magin siya awaaw nga lugar, silent place when it comes to busy schedule. And we know from yesterday that Jesus, even Jesus and the disciples and friends,
heart-to-heart friends did not have time for rest, for Shabbat. Jesus was so exposed in terms of Donamis expressing his power to preach and to heal those people who are asking for it. At the seizure at the harbor, the seizure symbolizes convenience. Pauraray sa daplin sa baybay. And we know people are asking and come and go asking for knowledge and wisdom. So what Jesus did to Peter, Peter, can you move a little bit? If you're closer to the light, malibat ka. You cannot objectify. So here, the teaching of the Lord Jesus Christ, dili, dili piot, di pod hugak. Di distantiate siya. We can reflect on that, that sometimes in our lives, when we are so zoomed in, so close, we cannot objectify ourselves. We cannot objectify reality. And the problem is that we are subjective. We are one-sided. We are proud. In the teaching of the Lord Jesus Christ, there's a sense of empowerment. Every time He performs miracle, it's not just the centers about Himself, but allowing people to take part, just like the Mass. The Lord be with you and your response and with your spirit. So it was a witnessing part when the Lord Jesus Christ distanciate a little bit and to use the boat as platform for preaching, the boat symbolizes the church. And the second movement, Jesus told Peter, can you go deeper? Dok in altum, go into the deep. And Peter asserted, for how many nights we never caught fish? And then another instruction to point to the Lord Jesus Christ told Peter, can you cast down the nets at that side? And then OMG, oh my God, they caught abundance and fruitfulness. So here now, my dear friends, the lesson in life, my dear children, beloved children, it doesn't mean that you're a fisherman, that your fish will listen to you, and you can do anything you want. It doesn't mean that you have the intelligence, you have the high IQ, that you know everything, that you stand on your own. So in this 21st century, when young people have the difficulty to decide because of cluttered life, because of overloaded with informations, people are so busy, the tendency to be depressed and negatively stressed. We need to have Shabbat. We need to have, to let God be God. To reflect, just simple question, where is God in my experience? What is God telling me? And to end this one, ultimately, Anong mahadlok man tao magpalaom? Why is, it, why is it that we are afraid to go deeper? What is your shark? What is your crocodile? What is your kantil in life? Dagami magpala, magpa, mahadlok magpalaom sa dagat. Kaya ba si na buaya, na iho, na isokoy, na inkanto? So, what stops you to rest, to, do, to go deeper in our discipleship? So in this Mass, my dear friends, sometimes we are like Prophet Isaiah, we are like St. Peter, even we are like St. Paul, we claim to be all-knowing, we claim to be sometimes the tendency, we claim to be intelligent, and that's, that's fine. But let's not forget that we are nothing without the Lord Jesus Christ. We let Jesus to hold us or else our life falter. Please all rise. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator in heaven and earth. Jesus Christ is His only Son, our Lord.